Today, I want to talk all about Gmail features with you because we want to make sure you know everything you need to know about automation in Gmail, about assigning labels, assigning stars, and all of this stuff. Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne with Ask Evie and I am a business efficiency consultant for digital entrepreneurs. And today we start nerding out in Gmail. And by the end of this series, you're gonna have the best chance there is for Inbox Zero. I'm gonna be talking all about labels and stars and automations and all kinds of stuff that you can do in Gmail. So if you're new here and you are ready to clean up your Gmail inbox, make sure subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified when the next video comes out. Now let's head over to my Gmail inbox. So I've been letting my inbox go just for you so you can see a mess. To be able to have an inbox that looks sorted like this with those different topics over here in one general inbox, we will talk about that specific setup here in the next video. Today, we need to talk about labels and sorting and all kinds of things in here for you to know how to actually build something like this and make it work. As you can see, I use Gmail labels right here to be able to easily see what's happening, where it's happening, what do I need to pay attention to, but also to automatically sort things over here. They are not all automatically sorted. Some of those are manually sorted, but again, we'll get to this in our next video. Today, we are looking into our settings and what you need to do is set up labels. If you've been around, you know we are using labels to sort clients and we have a complete process just automatically when a new client comes in, they are getting all kinds of labels down here and you can set main labels and labels underneath. Just think of a label like a folder and you can put a folder in a folder. So start in here, for example, with a folder called clients and then you can put all of your clients in that folder under clients which can look like when we go in here and we say filter messages like these so your first client message comes in the easiest way to do this is filter messages like these your client email needs to go right in here where it is create the filter we then apply the label, find the label in here. As you can see, those are client folders or you build a new one. So we can do a new label, client X, Y, Z, and we nest that label under whatever that main folder is that you set up. One of the thing you can do in filters is skip the inbox. So where we use this is when you are getting in newsletters, they, for whatever reason, end up in your regular email address, not in your newsletter email address. And you just want to sort those out and get those out of your main inbox. We can do skip inbox, apply label, and then find the newsletter label all the way in the bottom somewhere. There is the newsletter label. And there is multiple things you can still do here too. You can forward it. So you could take that newsletter that is going to the wrong email address, you either way can just clean it up, unsubscribe with that email and subscribe with the right email. If you don't wanna do that, you can forward that to that newsletter email address. You can delete it. You can make sure you never send it to spam. So if it's not a newsletter, but rather a client or any deliverables, you can make sure that they never get sent to spam in case you had issue in the past. You can send templates to them. So you can build little sales funnels in here even. Mark them important and all of those. So for our next video, really get yourself acquainted with all of this as we are going to be using this specific setup. I have talked about this a lot in the past. Every time you get a new client, you should be setting this up right here. Don't skip the inbox if it's a new client. Apply the label so that you have 
these tabs right next to it and you can easily tell when a client is emailing you and you can do more sorting with that in the future. So this should be setting you up to success for our big video next week when we are talking about Inbox Zero and how I have set this puppy up and how we also partially automate this so that you easily don't have 237 emails in it, but actually see your newsletter, have those not in your inbox, have your leads set up and all kinds of things so that your inbox doesn't look like this. Now that you know all of the ins and outs of what's possible and what you need to know about Gmail inbox and labels and all of that stuff, just wait for next week and I'm gonna show you how you can get from thousands of emails down to zero. Yes, it is possible. We just gotta put some systems in place. If you're ready to clean up your Gmail inbox, comment below and say, I'm ready to clean up my Gmail inbox. If you know somebody that is dealing with this whole inbox Gmail mess, <laughs> go send them the video, go make their life easier. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video you saw. Your feedback helps me make better videos. And I'll see you next week for the Inbox Zero video.